Listen. First Corinthians chapter six and at verse nine. Follow me. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Yes. Nor idolaters. Uh -huh. Nor adulterers. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. Funnies. Fairies. Mm -hmm. Nor abuse. Gay folk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nor abuse. Folk that's not straight. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. no Crooked people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can go on. No effeminate. Effeminate? No abusers of themselves with mankind. Abusers of themselves with mankind. No thieves. No thieves. No covetous. No drunkards. All, every class here that is here now is sitting here now. Amen. That were in that class. Amen. There are many following us in America, and somebody were in this class. Amen. Some folks say, well, I don't want to come to the Lord until I get right. You're doing it wrong. That's right. The purpose of coming to him that you might get right. Amen. You will never get right being out there. Never. No, you won't. Are you listening? Amen. Get this. No drunkards, no revilers. We have some folk, men and women, mm -hmm. who was wine bibbers. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. Love wine, love the bottle. <laughs> some of you listening to me now, you still got the bottle. Mm -hmm. You got it in your house. Why are you watching me? Who? You? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You still got your bottle? Amen. Throw it out. That way you don't wait till you get cirrhosis of the liver, then want prayer. That's right. Holiness, if you really want it, will take the bottle of liquor out of your hand. Amen. The dice out of your hand. Mm -hmm. The drugs out of your body. But you have to want it. Oh, yeah. Not just hang around it. You got to want it. That's right. That's right. You must acknowledge the ills and the sicknesses oh, yeah. that are in yourself. Amen. Not drag on your cigarette and try to witness the people. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. You're not dragging on your cigarette and witnessing. Mm -hmm. You out there? <laughs> you know you need to be born again. Now you accept... <coughs> <coughs> You accept Christ as your personal Savior? I'm born again. Born of what? Born of what? Amen. Born of nicotine and of cancer. Amen. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Prostitute? <laughs> you too, madam. This will put clothes on you. Oh, yeah. You won't sell your body like dog food. That's right. This will dress your mind, dress your heart, and dress your body. Amen. I want to answer the email. I don't have it out here now. A woman that wrote me and asked, why do your women have clothes on? My Lord. She said, I go to church, I wear jewelry, and I wear mini skirts, but your women are all the way covered. Aren't they hot in the summertime? Well, I'm pretty sure they are, but, but. I don't care how hot you are, if you are a respectable woman, 
your breast, your thighs, your backside, your womb, you have sense enough to know is not designed for the public to see. Amen. Why do the Bible declare, put a difference? That's right. Between holiness and unholiness. Unholy. They won't ask a Muslim sister that. No. No, no. But the reason why they will ask our women that, because they know it is out of the ordinary for women in a church to be covered. Women in churches today are more naked than women in the streets. Amen. my wife she can't talk to her brother mm -hmm. without he's looking down where her chest begin that's right a split from her heel all the way to the center of her back amen a skirt or a dress no longer than my jacket and she trying to pull it it ain't going nowhere amen I listen to the old man. That's right. So, sister, you want to know where does the Bible command the woman to cover up her nakedness? Nakedness. Give me the book of Revelation. In Revelation chapter three and at verse eighteen. Listen. I counsel to I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire. Yes. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment. That thou mayest be clothed. And? And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Where your breast began and where it ends is your business. Your business. Am I right? That's right. That's right. How can a man think about Jesus and the uh, crucifixion? That's right. And the resurrection. Amen. And you standing talking to him with your breast hanging out Amen. with a pamphlet in your hand. That's right. That's right. His mind isn't on Jesus. Oh, no. His mind is on other things. That's right. <laughs> is that right? Am I right, I said? Amen. I mean, let's be realistic. Don't be stupid. That's right. That's right. Now, someone blind would say, well, he should be able to see Jesus through all this. <laughs> it is not Amen. man's nature oh, no. to see Jesus. No, it's not. Through all of that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you understand? Amen. <laughs> so the Bible says, cover up. That the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Cover it up. That's right. You go to these churches with right. a split from your ankle all the way up to when you sit down, your thigh just fall open. Amen. Let's fall open. Bam! <laughs> Let's come right open. That's right. A big thigh. That's right. A calf, a bicep. Amen. Today the women can't bend down the church to pick up their pocketbook. Oh, no. No, they better not. That's right. These are church people. Amen. The woman said in her email, she said, my preacher don't say nothing. You got that right. <laughs> he is not going to say nothing. He don't mind you keep bending before him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> He's not going to say nothing. Oh, no. All he's going to say is, God bless y'all. <laughs> Heaven smile upon you. Amen. That's all he going to do That's and preach to love. Preach to love. Yes, he will. Am I right? Amen. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, that's all he's going to do. Amen. So it, is, it is indecent. It's just indecent. It's indecent for a woman to exploit her. If you take note of the advertising industry oh. to buy clothes, oh, yeah. to get those clothes on the market so people can buy them, they get women to be half naked. Amen. They use sex. That's what they do. They use the image of hoes. That's right. There's billboards right. throughout Philadelphia. A woman with men underwear on. Her hands down in them. Shirt open and breasts almost revealed. My Lord. Now when men see that woman, that'll make them want to buy some fruit of balloons. That's right. Or some hay. That's right. But you merchants got to resort to low pimpish Amen. methods Amen. just to sell drawers. Yeah. Talk to me. Amen. Just to sell t-shirts. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. A woman got to pose like a hoe. My Lord. Just so a company will make money. That's right. The Bible says, come up. That thou mayest be clothed. Clothed. And that the shame, the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. You just can't wear a blouse and cover yourself. Mm -hmm. Have to be about down here. Mm -hmm. And when you go to these Christian rock concerts, you clapping and you clapping. Amen. And folks to sit right in church looking at you. Yes, they will. <laughs> Shake the preacher's hand. You folk that watch me know what I'm talking about because most of them is your pastor. Amen. Including your daddy. Amen. You go right to the church. Here's a woman come up, chest all revealed, an old bishop. Well, God bless you. Ooh, honey, honey. See, they don't call you sister or mother in the devil's churches. Oh, no. Honey, baby, sugar dial, sweet thing, rose chain. Oh, that Lord is good to you, so sweet. Heaven, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. It's a sales pitch. All it is. All it is. Cover that stuff oh, up. That's right. Now... You want to know why the sisters have their head covered? Mm -hmm. In the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the Bible commands it. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 5. Yes. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head see, uncovered. I see many of you young men out there ready to fight other young brothers. Well, they're whistling at your daughter's backside. Amen. And to my Muslim sisters, it's a shame. Why in the world... You bear with me. <laughs> Why in the world <laughs> now? Why in the world will you wear a chemo and skin tight jeans? Amen. Of righteousness on your head. That's right. And in your tight backside in public. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. It ain't no one think about no Asalaamu Alaikum and them tight jeans wrapped around you. No, no. That's right. Asalaam, nothing. That's right. Who can see Allah? That's right. Through them tight jeans. Amen. That's right. Who can understand the existence of Almighty Allah? That's right. With a chemo and a halter. Go ahead. That's what they wear. 
Assalam, I fake them. Amen. 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 Faking. That's right. Take them pants off. That's right. The Bible demands. Demands it. Demands it. In Deuteronomy 22, 5. 25. Amen. That a woman shall not wear. That which pertains to Don't tell me man. nothing about a Palestinian custom. That's right. Take them off. Amen. Your shape shall not be revealed in public. That's right. The woman's supposed to be so she's not displayed in public in a way she don't give a man a reason to lust. Amen. I don't know where you're going to have your head covered, mouth and nose covered, and the only right. thing you see is your eyes and your backside wrapped in some Levi's. Amen. And no one can see Jesus. Nobody through that. Nobody. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Listen. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Our women are not allowed to wear pants. Our little girls are not allowed to wear pants. Amen. Shorts, sweatpants, sweatsuits. In the school with many skirts on, That's many right. nothing. In the school districts throughout all America, put uniforms out. The only way our sisters will wear them, they must meet up to our standard. Amen. Our sisters will not wear many skirts on no terms. Amen. Their body will be covered. That's right. And they dresses or skirts long and down. Amen. In church, you know? That's right. If the school district don't like it, so what? Amen. Let God be true. Amen. And let all of you be liars. That's right. You mothers get some clothes on your daughters. That's right. Then these young two-legged animals can stop cussing at her, calling her a female dog. Amen. You send that 12-year-old out there with sandals and straps that tie all the way up to a calf, lipstick on her lips, ears pissed and she only 12, long fake Amen. fingernails made by Japan. Amen. That's right. Got a halter on with nothing in it. And a string up her tail like a dog. That's right. And she's sent out in public by her mama. Amen. And you's a Christian. A Christian. You of hell. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening to me? Amen. Paul said, I speak this to your shame. To shame. That's right. It is indecent. It's indecent. That these young women come outside like naked animals. Amen. It is indecent. That's not modest. Not at all. Kimor and Levi's. <laughs> you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Hmm. That don't work here. Kimor and miniskirt. Oh, no. That don't work. Oh, no. That don't work here. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. A bow tie and gay don't work. No, that don't work. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. It don't work. <laughs> Are you listening? The scriptures teaches us what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. But what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hold it. Amen. That too. You men that want to wear ponytails. That's right. And some of you brothers don't have straight hair. No. See, they put a brillo pad in their back. 
take what little hair they got Amen. and put multi-rubber bands on it mm -hmm. because they want to be like someone else. That's right. You young men who want to wear afros Go ahead. thinking that's black. You think being black is having an afro, afro and wearing red, black, and green, and yellow, and wearing shirts with a fist on it? Amen. Are you that dumb? My Lord. Are you that blind that you think black is going around hating every white person living? That's right. My Lord. You don't know what black is. It is. Amen. Amen. It is more than the color. Yes, it is. It is beyond the color spectrum. That's right. Then my white brothers who want to have hair down your shoulders mm. and want to put black fingernails on. Amen. And black lipstick. That's right. And my black and white brothers want to get their hair sprayed so it can get stiff in points. Right. Like chickens. Yeah. Amen. Blue, green, red, yellow, yeah. purple. Amen. Everybody want to get their nose pierced. Something. I imagine a preacher up preaching with his nose pierced. Preacher. Mm. Men with earrings in their ear. What for? What for? That's right. God wanted the holes in your ears. He could have put them in there. Amen. What does it do for you? Amen. What does it make you? Does it make you? Does it make you more of a man? Hmm. Uh, Look at yourself while I'm talking to you. Amen. Look how filthy and dirty you are. Amen. Look at yourself, woman. Amen. Look at you. You Christian hoe. Look at you. Go ahead. Look at you. Go ahead, go ahead. You Christian man walk around with some yellow suit. Amen. Red tie, sky blue socks. That's right. Driving in your Cadillac linked over. That's right. And 65. Amen. Amen. You old folk today. Old folk. In your 50s and 60s and 70s. That's right. It isn't too many of none of you mm -hmm. that are respectable Amen. or a reasonable example to young people. Amen. Only a few of you. Only a few. And that few is hard to come by. That's right. <laughs> Today, mm -hmm. mother and daughter sit and watch porn together. Amen. Hey, today mother bring her boyfriend at home oh, yeah. and share him, share him with the daughter. That's right. Or daughters. Hmm. Father will bring his boyfriend at home <laughs> and share him hmm. with his son. Something. Father will bring a new boyfriend home. Come here, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, come here. I want you to meet Oliver. <laughs> Say hello, Arlie. Oh, Oliver. Oliver. Yes. This is accepted. Yes, it is. That's why I was stationed here, Blackout. <laughs> That's right. Because we won't accept it. That's right. That's right. No, we won't accept it. Amen. And because of the stand we're taking, we are hated and jealous of by some of those without and within. Amen. But I ain't moved by neither. Amen. Look at you, you Christian nothings. Hmm. When you drive to church, you're listening to the gospel stations, singing, going up yonder. 
Then when you get to that church, get some lightsaber. Or some chewing gum. Gum. Amen. Or eat a whole box of Tic Tacs. Amen. On up to the car stand. Or on up to the deacon poles. That's right. Or on the usher. Amen. A cigar sucking Christian. Some of you watching me got a six pack in your house. Beer guzzling. Bible toting Christians. Amen. That's why you can't stand me, and I don't care if you don't. That's right. As long as God got my big, my big mouth in motion, in motion. I'm going to work on you while you're in the land of living. Amen. You see, if I was worrying about how folk feel about me, I would preach solely for love. That's right. But my concern is the feelings of God. That's right. Whether folk hate us or love us, it doesn't matter to us. Amen. If God is pleased with us, that's where I get my satisfaction. Amen. You Christians, Christian. you a Christian, mm. you's a Christian, you are? Well, look, Christian, how can you be a Christian and you and use a bar dancer? That's right. Sliding down some pole. That's right. Like you work for the fire department. <laughs> Amen. And Reb is sitting out there. Yes, he is. That's right. Taking that dollar, throwing it to you. Throwing it. That's right. You rub Red's head and got him saying, Jesus. Hmm. You's a Christian? Christian. Hmm. How'd that come about? Amen. Uh, in my research of the Bible, you're supposed to be a new creature. That's right. So if I'm a new creature, hmm. if I have a job, that caused me to break the law of God, mm -hmm. then that job gonna be on my list of sacrifices. That's right. That I will have to make so I can truly walk with God. That's right. The Bible teaches us all things are lawful unto me, but all things not are not expedient. It is lawful to work, but it's right. not expedient to have any type of any job. job. That's right. Men and women. Yeah. Women, you can't work in a Playboy club just like a big rabbit. No way. With that cotton tail. Amen. I can't do that. Walking around serving drinks. That's right. Half naked. Hoppins. That's right. And then Sunday, soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Yeah. Soon, no, oh, no, no, no. Soon and very soon, you're going to hell. That's right. That's what that is. What it is. This cheap, watered down religion will keep you a sinner. Amen. You're a Christian? What kind? What kind? I read the Bible. Again, I say. That's right. What kind? That's right. You can go on the bus and find folk reading the Bible with a cigarette in their mouth. Oh, yeah. Is that right? That's right. If you want change, you first must have the will to surrender and submit and make an effort to do that. That's right. You can't talk change. Well, I want to change, but... I'm not ready. What else you want to do? Mm -hmm. Look at yourself, brother. Look at yourself. While I'm talking, bring a mirror. If you got one, set it next to the television. Look at what I'm saying and look at you. Look at you. Why in the world is your eyebrows arched? Amen. Why is your hair dyed? Why you got eyebrow pencil on, woman? Mm -hmm. Why do you got fake eyelashes? Why? Why? 
Why did you get breast implants? That's right. If your husband really loved you, he loved you the way God made you. That's right. You don't need no inner tubes and plastic bottles and rubber tires all stuck on you. Stuck on you. Until you clanging, and making a bunch of noise. Amen. Am I right? Amen. In holiness, you don't need wigs, toupees. No, no. Fake fingernails, hair extensions. That's right. Nail hardener. You don't need that in true holiness. No, no. Your main objective is to be filled with God and stay with him. That's right. That's your goal. That's right. Stay with him who shall abide in my word and my word abide in him. That's right. Let's get the head mm -hmm. covered. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 5. Listen. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, what? Dishonoreth her head. Well, that now the head of every woman is the man. The man. Someone said, no, that's male chauvinistic. No, that's Bible. Bible. That's the Bible right. says. But I would have you know. Listen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 at verse 3. You that didn't know. But I would have you know. Now you that didn't know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. Now woman. Mm -hmm. Let me say to the man. Before you quote that to the woman. Mm -hmm. Give that woman something worthwhile. Amen. That she don't mind respecting as head. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Right. Listen, I say <laughs> there's a lot of women that would love to respect man mm -hmm. for his position as a man. That's right. Your manhood is not based upon your performance in a bed Amen. or your male anatomy. Mm -hmm. Dogs perform. That's right. That's why so many of them. So Amen. many of them, they got us running from them. <laughs> so you have no monopoly. No, no. But the woman would love something worthwhile in the house. That's right. To look up to, honor, and respect, and make a woman feel good when she knows she got a man she can respect. Amen. Amen. Not some hen peck, spineless, watered down, limp wrist. Good for nothing, coward. Yeah. We don't want to do nothing but go to the bathroom and That's sit right. around and watch ball games. That's right. And be babied and pet. That's right. Who won't even take responsibilities for his own failures. Amen. But ready to take credit for her accomplishments. Go ahead. That he had no partaker in. Amen. Teaching. Yes, the Bible teaches the woman is the weaker vessel, but the woman still is a very strong thing in the earth. That's right. She's a strong vessel in the earth oh. and an important vessel in the earth because the woman is like a ship. That's right. And is the first one responsible for livestock. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. The livestock that she carries is male and female. That's right. And the ship is bringing them to port. In the port. Go ahead. But as the body sail mm -hmm. on the water, sail through the troubles of life. Amen. It must watch out for its cargo. That's right. If the ship go too deep in trouble until it take in water, mm -hmm. she must know how to protect the cargo. That's right. That the cargo don't drown. Go ahead, go ahead. Woman, the way you raise a child is not wait till it's born. Amen. The way you raise a child is when you find out you conceive, it is the way you carry your body. That's right. That's right. Don't go to church because it's Sunday. The only thing that make that place the house of God is when God's word coming out of there.
Mm. Always remember that. Mm. A church is not a church because it has a cross or the name Jesus on it. That's right. Uh-uh. That don't mean it's the church. Yeah. The only thing that make it a church is when the truth of God's word is coming out of that place. <laughs> Not selling lottery tickets. That's right. They got now where you play church chances. You play a church chance. Bingo in the churches. That's right. Catholics. Raffle tickets. That's right. In churches. That's right. Raffle tickets. Oh. Have a church raffle. If you get the raffle, you win a prize. You win a car or something. Or a jacket. Raffle. Gambling. In the house of God. I'm supposed to. How did church get like this? What happened? Mm. How is it that we became part of it? And then we go among ourselves and complain. Yeah. Well, brother, what do you think about that? Oh, and I tell you, we wasn't like this 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then the bishop tell you, we got to do these things to bring the young people. Oh, yes. We got thousands of young people following us Amen. around the world. Amen. We ain't bringing the world in to get them. No. We ain't got to hire no praise dancers no. to bring young people. No. Hey, get a bunch of brothers and sisters up in the pulpit. All for Jesus. No need for that. You did those steps when you partied right. on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So why are you coming to church now and hit it to myself? Put your hands in the air and wave them for God don't care. And you, you sit in your church. Yeah. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. That's right. And you supposed to be of Jesus? Use a lie from the pits of hell. Even the sinner know there ain't nothing but a party. That's right. That's why the sinner come right off the street. Sinner just come join right in. That's right. He be like, man, these people is jabbing. <laughs> the sinner know it. That's right. That's right. Sinner ain't got no respect for you. No. Send a blend right in. That's right. Amen. Look at the language they're using. A lot of them take the term church off the building and call it a center. center that's right, yeah. mm. Worship center. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's right. They that's cease right. to use the office titles of the book. Right. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastors, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Now, doctor. Mm -hmm. God sent me to the world and sent me here to Jamaica yes, sir. to put the entire island back on the right track. Right. Hey, man, you better give me Titus, the third chapter, third. if you will, son, mm -hmm. and begin at verse 3. Titus chapter 3. It is three. the grace of God or the compassion of God that brought the washing of regeneration to you. That's right. Let's look at our past now. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. What is it? For we ourselves also were... We ourselves also was... Sometimes foolish. How many here can say amen to that? Amen. 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 How many here can say amen to that? Amen. You hear what the word of God say there? For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Sometimes. Sometimes foolish. Do you remember when you was a fool? Mm. You remember when you was out there dancing until the sun came up? Amen. Do you remember when you was drinking till you collapsed? Yeah. Fainted. Yeah. When you woke up, you didn't know where you are. <laughs> Friends had to bring you home. Amen. Wife had to put up with your foul mouth. Yeah. Cussing. Oh, yeah. It was peaceful until you come in the house drunk as the devil. That's right. Raging, hollering, beating your wife, slapping your wife. Wife got to run to her bedroom and hide the children, lock the doors. Preach it. Why? Because you are slave to the bottle. That's right. That's why every state store is called 
wine and spirits. And spirits. Why you think it's called wine and spirits? Because when you get drunk, a spirit take you over. Take you over. And cause you to act in a manner that God did not intend for you to act. That's right. Make you say things that God didn't make you to say. Yeah. Out there hollering and screaming four o'clock in the morning. Hmm. I remember years ago, before I was married, I was home with my parents. And about two or three in the morning, thank you, brother. About two or three in the morning, I remember hearing some noise outside, and it was trash day the next day, so we set trash out the day before. And somebody was punching on something. <laughs> I looked out my window, and there was a fella that we knew. We, in the neighborhood, in the hood, we called them ghosts. You know, the hood, you got all kind of nicknames. <laughs> Slim, shorty, ghosts, fats, everything. Well, we called this fella ghosts. Mm -hmm. And ghosts were so drunk. <laughs> Somebody set a refrigerator out that night. And just so happy when he looked at the refrigerator, he asked the refrigerator, what are you looking at me for? My Lord. <laughs> now I'm in my, <laughs> I'm in my window watching this whole thing play out. Because one thing about a drunken person, that's a sight to see. Oh, yeah. So Ghost asked the refrigerator that <laughs> don't have no life. Mm. What are you looking at me for? What are you looking at? Lord. And I sit there and watch. So Ghost pushed the refrigerator. <laughs> and the weight of the refrigerator went back. And came up and hit Ghost in the chest, and Ghost went back. He said, Oh, it's on now. <laughs> Ghost unleashed on that refrigerator. I mean, he overhanded it, he uppercut it, he sided it. Good. When he knocked it on the ground, he dove on top of it. Oh. Hit it in the refrigerator, stomped it. Stomp. Oh. Then he got up <laughs> and said, Get up. <laughs> the word of God said, Wine is a marker. marker. Strong drink is raging. Amen. He that is tricked or deceived thereby is not wise. Not wise. What did he say there, son? We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Amen. You that are here, you that are watching and listening, this is time for reflection. Yeah. That's right. When you reflect back, it gives you a better appreciation to where God brought you at now. Amen. Even though you may not be where you desire to be in God, but some progress is better than no progress. That's right. Hallelujah. We ourselves also. We're sometimes foolish. Brother Nate done the job on that thing. Ghost, I mean, he whipped it. He hmm. knocked it over, it over, stomped on it, and told it to get up. Hmm. And when it wouldn't get up, Nate said to the refrigerator, when I come back, you better not be here. <laughs> Now, there's more than one way to be drunk. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Amen. When you are intoxicated, that simply means you've been taken over by what you took in. Right. You can be intoxicated with money. Yeah. For when a person is intoxicated, they have no self-control. No discipline. Mm -hmm. When you have someone who's intoxicated with money, they don't have no discipline. No discipline. Someone who's intoxicated with men or women, they have no discipline. Right. Someone who's intoxicated with power and authority, they have no discipline. This is why God is a necessity in the lives of all people. That's right. 
For God put discipline in everybody. That's right. Who desire it. Amen. God tames you. Yeah. No one can tame you like God. No, no. Put a bridle over your mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put that bridle in your mouth. I discipline your tongue. Yeah. Not out there cussing every five minutes. That's right. You meet people in the street now, they can't even hardly complete a sentence without got this and MF that and son of the other. That's right. Just a regular conversation. Yeah. Ordinary conversation. Ordinary. Man, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Man, it's a got so and so day, That's, ain't it? That's right. Brother, how you doing? I'm doing MF good. <laughs> It's in their nature. Yeah. That's why the world needs to be born again. And what that does changes your nature. That's right. Changes your world. Changes your world. Hmm? Yeah. That's what the new birth is for. Mm -hmm. The changing of that world. That's right. That's why the Bible calls you when you're baptized and come up a new creature. New creature. New creature. Yeah. Why? Why are you called a new creature? Because just like a seed is planted in the ground and a green stem come up, that's something new that's coming out of that. That's right. But the seed got to die before it's quickened. Yeah. The seed is not quickened except it dies. Except